Hey everybody, Ben Barber here to show you three ways you can use Video Ask if you are not comfortable being on video. All right, so uh, I'm going to show you this, and it's the perfect time to do this because I just had a tooth pulled. Look how gnarly that sucker is. I know I've got some gauze in the mouth right here. I don't want to open my mouth all the way, but I still want to be able to create Video Ask and engage with my prospects, my leads, my customers, my clients and I still want to create content, okay? So now I'm doing it because I do have this tooth that was just pulled, but you also might not be comfortable in front of the camera, and that's okay. I still want you to be able to take care of, I still want you to be able to utilize Video Ask even if you're not comfortable in front of the camera. So I'm gonna show you the top three ways that you can use Video Ask without ever putting your beautiful face on camera and uh, still get great results, okay? So if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell notification or the bell icon so you can get notified of new video content that I'm putting out to help you grow your real estate business, all right? Okay, so grab a pad of paper, a pen, and let's jump right into three ways to use Video Ask without you being recorded on video. The number one way that you can use Video Ask if you don't feel comfortable recording yourself is to take advantage of the Video Ask library. Within the Video Ask library, you have two options. You can use Pexels. So Pexels are going to be small videos that I like to use as placeholders, but you can use them as your main video and then add some overlay to, uh, you know, to your Video Ask step in order to engage with your clients or your prospects or whoever, whoever it is that you're targeting. So that's a great way to get started right there is using Pexel. So if I wanted to make a video specific to home buyers, I can simply search through Pexels, look for home buyer videos, find a video that I like, and as soon as I click on it, that video is now going to be the video that is used for that specific video step, okay? So very simple, easy way to hew easy way to use Pexels instead of your own wonderful face. Now, the second way that we can use Video Ask without using our own video, without recording our own video, is Giphy. And I hope that I'm saying it right. If not, please drop me a comment and let me know the correct way to say that. But Giphy is a way to basically, or maybe it's Jiffy, uh, but it's basically just a way to do a GIF, right? So instead of it being a video, it's going to be an animated short uh, that can also be used as your video for your video steps. So if you don't want to record yourself, and if you don't want to use a video from Pexels, it's very easy to use Giphy. Now you can go into that and you can still search it just like we did with Pexels. So if I want to search for something that's specific to homes, I can do that. Now these are going to be a little more entertaining videos, fun videos, because they are just short little loops. But you can search through thousands of GIFs, thousands of GIFs, however you want to say that, and you can incorporate that and use that as your video step, okay? The third way that you can do this, the third way is a little more advanced, but I use an app called Doodly. Doodly allows me to create whiteboard videos that are explainer videos that show my process. They're very easy to use. You can also use companies like Fiverr, 99designs, things like that, where you have a graphic designer that can make the video for you if you're not one who wants to go out and tackle this project yourself. Using whiteboard explainer videos are a fantastic option because you can keep your audience engaged while still delivering your message and you don't have to be on camera. So to do that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new video step and I'm going to upload whatever whiteboard video it is that I wanna upload and that is now the video for my video step. Okay, so those are the three ways you can do it. We can do it with Pexels, we can do it with Giphy, or you can upload your own animated video. The example that I'm using is a whiteboard video that was done with Doodly. Okay, so um, that's really it. Just don't, don't be afraid to make video. And if you don't wanna be on camera, I understand not everybody wants to, but I don't want you to miss out on the power of video Ask. So whatever you do, whether you wanna use some of these animated videos, whether you wanna use Pexels, whether you wanna use Giphy, Use something to engage with your audience, deliver your message, and create a unique experience that is going to help you increase lead conversion and sell more homes. All right, so I hope you like this video. Please make sure you drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and check out all my other videos in the Video Ask series.